It's getting cloudy when our chariots come to we outy. If you bout it, white robes in the closet redeeming my body. That's already done. I shot like a star when my brothers, my God is the sun. That kingdom come. That was finished before the first minute when all is begun. The sky might fall. Everybody is not going to get the I don't think that I'm heaven. speaking as a man that's not walking lockstep with God and doing what you're God not. Has asked me to do. You're not. You're assuming. No, no, no. I'm no, not no. saying you're that not. I'm only, Look, this is how we judge. Okay. Which law are you keeping? Which law am I keeping? Yes. Because God said to walk with him, you have to keep There's one law in the universe, period. I don't care who you oh, are, what Lord. you do. Do unto oh, others as you won't done unto you. That's no, that's, that's the Bible. That, no. That, that, that's, that's the Bible. That's science. No, that's the What's Bible. What's Newton's first law? I don't know. Newton's first Bible. law is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's what? science. Where did he get that from? I don't care what you believe Where did he get it from? That's science. Where did he get it from? From studying. The Bible. That's reap right. what you sow. What you mean? No, he didn't. That's reap what you sow. Bring it up. Reap what you sow. Wait. That's the Bible. That's golden rule. That's so the only rule that exists. The Bible predates mm -hmm. Newton. That's right. right. Everything else is subjective. It predates Newton. It may predate Newton, but it doesn't So that means that science. argument is invalid. So again, no, it what doesn't. law are you keeping to say that you There's want one law? You, you want, want to others which you want done unto you. All right, let, let's let's get a law that us men should do. Give me Leviticus. Everything else is subjective, man. Right. Yeah, I got you. Let, let's see. Because, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm hit y'all sisters on game. If y'all listen to God's law, he will show you how to duck and dodge. Problems, brothers, that's not about nothing. Sisters, that's not about nothing. He'll, he'll show you how to do it. Read that. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make bonus upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Why is that a law? You tell me. Why is it a law? Tell me. No, because you said it's subjective. Because I think it's subjective. Okay, that's part I think it's a law. That a man should not shave off the corner of his head. Meaning, make it bald. Why is that a law? Oh, I just want to hear your opinion. What you got? Okay, what you got? What you got, sis? Maybe it revolves around strength. You know, in the Bible. Uh, oh, wait. Because, you know, in the Bible. Go on, Samson. I don't really, yeah, Samson. Oh, you know, he got his hair cut off and he lost all his strength. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Uh, 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 I like that. Okay. Give me Genesis 1. Let me show the why. <laughs> why did God have a law not to cut your head and make it fall? And then we're going to go further in the chapter. Genesis uh, 1 and 26. Read that. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness uh -huh. and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the owl, and over the cattle, and over the, all the earth, and over every creepy thing that creepeth upon the earth. So, this is Adam. Adam was fashioned after the image of God. That's right. God ain't bald. That's right. right. So now he has a law, don't shave your head. But, let's go a little deeper. Go back to Deuter, uh, uh, Leviticus. In 1928, that one too. I want that one. Yes, sir. Because it goes into the text as well. Give me that. 1928. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28, 27. Yeah, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, Rick. neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. Rick. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So, we're not supposed to round the corners of our beard, meaning cut it to shave it bald, shave it off. Nor the corners of our head, meaning to shave it all the way off. Right. Why? Because the Egyptians did that. That's right. That's that right. was an Egyptian custom. Right. Did you know that the Egyptians used to get lice? Mm -hmm. And they cut their hair off for re relief of their lice. lice. Yeah. At the same time, it was their custom when they mourned the dead. Right. Read that last part again. Nor, nor print any marks upon you, I am the Lord. These were Nilotic tribes that used to make cuttings in their flesh or tattoos. That's why God said don't do that. Because this body that we got right. is actually leased out to us. That's right. right. We renting right. our body right. <laughs> for a set amount of time. And what we do in our body, we're going to get judged off of. But can you repent of tattoos? Yes. What, is, what does it mean to repent? Meaning to not do it again. That's right. So that means don't get another tattoo. If right. you have your tattoos, don't get another one. Right. That's, that's a, a sin you can repent under, under Christ. Right. But... With the balding of the head, that's an Egyptian custom. That's right. So the Lord was telling us, nah, we got to keep, here's the customs I'm giving you men. Right. And we have to keep those customs as men. So for us to even say that we're men, 
we have to keep God's commandments. That's right. right. We, Every but, man with alopecia is just dead in the water. That's different. That's different. But the scriptures didn't say that. that. See, mm. we keep reading. But that's a, uh, Hold on, I'm, I'm about to read it because he he being simple right now. Wow. No, no, right. I'm to read it. Uh, uh, that's right. No, you being simple. No, you enlightened. Leviticus chapter that's 19 now, and verse 27. Ooh, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, uh -huh. neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Uh -huh. Ye shall not make any cutters in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Numbers 11. Mm -hmm. Numbers 11. Um, about the ball. Oh, yeah. 13. 13. The biggest 13. Because you can't, you can't say, oh, alopecia. Well, let's see what the Lord said about that. Read that. Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 40. And the man whose hair is falling off his head, he is bald, yet he is clean. Is what? Yet he is clean. That means it fell off his head naturally. Right. 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 You know what you just clean. did to me? You just enlightened me. <laughs> and he that had his hair falling off from the part of his head toward his face, he is forehead bald, yet is he clean. So if a man's hair falls naturally, he's clean according to God. All right. So this, this shows you, bro, you must read your history. That's right. You must. It's not necessarily a result of history or anything of that nature. You didn't know. Once again, what I'm telling you. No, no. You just everything you're saying. Did you know that? It's subjective. Did you know that prior? What? Did you know about? No, not at all. So that means you Which need to learn. Which is why I asked the question. You got to learn your history, though, because mm -hmm. some of us, we ask questions just to be assholes. Right I'm not and asking a question to be an asshole. I'm asking no, no, a question I, because I, I, you presented no, no, a you subset didn't. of something. I said and I hold. Axe. Hole. Axe hole, asshole, whatever. No, it, it's axe hole. hole. <laughs> Meaning, you just it, you just keep going with endless questions. Well, I'm going with endless questions because you're giving them. me knowledge that ultimately, one, I don't know, and two, some of it don't agree with. So, if you have something that you can back it up with that's not based in based in faith, but more based in fact, I'm I went, here for it. I went to the history. I'm all about science. I went to history. <laughs> no, the history is subjective. That book is subjective. How? That book is subjective to people. Because what you're saying is, is if that book is 100% correct, every Hindu, every Buddhist, every person that that tradition that has any tradition that is not within that book, is dead in the water. That what's, your, what's your name, bro? Some in my spirit just don't say that sound. What's your name? Xavier. Xavier, nice to meet you, bro. Keep up. What's your name? JC. JT? Nice to meet you, bro. JC. JC. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you. Aaliyah? Aaliyah. Nice to meet y'all. Now, my brother Xavier, he asked, he, he made a prominent thing. He said, it's subjective. Now, let, let's see. Is this subjective? No, that's fact. Is this subjective to you? The images are fact. The words are no, no, no. The, the event. No, the event is factual. Okay. What about you? What about you? Hey, uh, brother, what's your name? Mike. Nice to meet you, bro. Is this subjective? Meaning, it's, it's up for interpretation or your opinion? Or did it happen? Okay. Okay. I like that. Is it in the Bible? Is it referenced in the Bible? Absolutely. But is, is it in the Bible in great detail? It's in the Bible so in great degree. detail, and I'm not saying that other things in the Bible aren't in great detail. I'm also saying that to say that everything that is in that Bible would be to diminish anything that comes from any religion that is not that. And that's why I find a hard difference to believe, because I wholeheartedly believe you should study every single one of them. I don't think you should lock into one and say, this is all the way okay. right. Wait, hold on, like, hold on. So it's subjective. Uh, the Bible is a book of books. It is over 80 books that uh, compiles the Bible. So I am, we are reading multiple forms and references of books. Interpretations from different people. Like no, mm -hmm. references of the Bible. Because interpretation is not opinion. Interpretation is how you break something down. Okay. Watch this. I'm about to show you interpretation. Real quick, JC. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. So in Deuteronomy, the 28 chapter, is the curses that happen to this nation of people. This nation of people, the reason that we got American Blacks, West Indies, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, because we got that map from Genesis the 49th chapter. When you read Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy 33, it gives you a roadmap of where we's gonna be in the last days. That's not subjective. <laughs> now, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Somebody put a curse on you, is it good or is it bad? What about you, Sister Lee? 
It's bad. Xavier agree. Jump to 68. Let's see one of the curses that God put on us, the nation of Israel. Read that. Verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. Now, God is speaking slang. Let's show you what he mean by Egypt. Because God defines everything he says. He says, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again, but this time with ships. Go to Deuteronomy, I'm sorry, go to Exodus 20, verse 2. Let's get the definition of Egypt. Read that. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So God gave us a word that we was not familiar with, and he defined that word by saying it's the house of bondage. So when you look up the word Egypt or Egyptos, it means bondage or slavery. Now let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let's plug and play. Read that. Like mathematics. I love mathematics. Just like math. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Huh? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. What? Egypt. Which is? What did God Bondage. define Egypt? Bondage or slavery, right? But how? Again, with ships. How did the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans go into bondage? What history does that go into? If it's subjective, what history does that go into? Our history, period. Which one? Well, our history, I guess. History the transatlantic goes. slave trade was one. Right. The sub-Saharan slave trade was another. Right. The Silk Road slave trade is another. Right. That was us being traded to China. Yes, they had their hand in our slavery too. How about this? During I'll the Tang and Ying question. Dynasty. I'll ask you something that I don't want to No, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I want to know this because I don't have a lot of time. I got you. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, huh? thou shalt see it no more again. So we wasn't going to see Egypt of that time again. We didn't. We saw this Egypt. Right. Look on the dollar bill. Why is there an a, uh, a obelisk on the dollar bill? Appreciate you. Why is there an obelisk? Why is there a pyramid? This is spiritual Egypt according to the Bible. Read that. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And when you get to Egypt, when you get to bondage, when you get to slavery, you're going to be sold unto your enemies. Not your friends, your enemies. Who sold us? Let me, let me remind you. Let me remind you. You had, give me that, yeah. We had the Arab sellers. We had the Caucasian sellers. Right. We had African Nilotic tribe sellers. Right. We are Bantu tribes. Two different people. Mm -hmm. Two different people. We're not the same. Even though we of Africa or, or lived in Africa, we're not African. All right. Read that. D just to show it's a difference. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any other children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast. So that dog is the other nation shall not move their tongue against our kitty cats. They can't say nothing against our dogs. Read. That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So right. God put a difference between Egypt for the Nilotic tribes and Israel, the Bantu tribe. That's right. He put a big difference between us. Right. So when you see African, we all was not African. That's right. We was actually fleeing from Roman persecution when you read uh, the history of um, 70 AD, what happened in Jerusalem in 70 AD. Now, I know it's new, but have you ever heard this information before, sis? But this is scriptural. We're, we're going through the scriptures, breaking down history because that prophecy at that time is now our history. That's right. That's how relevant this book is. Right. And that's what we're trying to show our brothers and sisters, including you, Xavier. So I'll ask you this. And this is the last question I got. If we're the chosen, and then we are the chosen. Okay. It's not if. We are. How about this? Patronize me for a moment. <laughs> no, if I don't want to. We're the chosen. Yeah. Um, why? Why did this happen to us? Why, why did, did this what? become? Why would God do this to his chosen? Good question, Xavier. Good question. That's the most important question. Yes, it is. That's a good question. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28. Go to verse 1. Let's see the why behind That beautiful question, Xavier. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So if we were to listen to God, he's going to set us on high. He's going to be a hedge of protection over us against all our enemies, things like that. He's going to be living good in the kingdom of heaven, right? Now jump to 15 again. 
15. Verse 15. Huh? But it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these ill dealings are going to happen to us because we did not listen to God. Right. Now, Xavier, don't that sound like a contract? No way. Like, you, you do these terms of agreement, and we will do this. Yeah. You break that, it's this portion of the contract that you have to pay for. Right. What do you think we chose in the contract? Well, if what you're seeing is the truth, we obviously chose the latter. Why? Now that's a better question. Why? Because I don't know. I'm asking you. about um, us lusting after the other nations. I want that. Judges 2 and 3. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Judges chapter 2 and verse 3. Wherefore I also said, I will not drive them out from before you, but they shall be as thorns in your sides, and their gods shall be a snare unto you. Their what? Their gods shall be a snare unto you. A snare is a trap. Now, let's put it up to today. The different gods. Now, you're wearing a God right now. Nike, right? Mm -hmm. What is that the God of? It's a Greek God. You telling me? Ah, good. So, Nike is the, the God of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's of information or speed. So, a lot of us are, we, most brothers, I don't know about you, Xavier, <laughs> but I've seen most brothers, they kill themselves over it. Like, that right. ain't that deep. Jordans. Right. No, it's not. It may not be to you, but I've seen brothers. Oh, no, I know it happens. I'm not, not yes. ignorant to it. So they're killing themselves over a false deity. Right. Just like we was of old. The cars. You have Mercury. You have Saturn. Bring it out. Those are Greek gods. Right. right. Yeah. No, Greek, yes. Mercury, Saturn. Um. What's another uh car name? Not Audi. What happened? Is it car? Huh? Mer Mercury, Saturn, Ford, Volkswagen. <laughs> so uh, I'm showing you, they put, they imbued the gods of old into these items, mm -hmm. and our people would lose their mind over it. So are they serving the one true God, or are they serving another item? So you tell me this. That, that's is a yes or no. Before you get to your, is that that's a yes or no? What about you? What you think? Yeah. They are. What about you? Yeah. So that means that we fell away by not keeping God's commandments and serving other gods. Right. We have fun doing it. Because in, in the other gods, all gods have, uh, uh, what is it? Um, sex laws. God has a sex law. Right. He, he even told us after you after you uh, have sex, clean yourself. That's right. That's a law. Of course it went into the, um, the temple, but hygiene is always good. That's right. So the other nations, because they don't follow the God of Israel, they make up their own laws. And you know what their sex laws is? Probably do as you please. Orgies, do as you please. Everything mm -hmm. adverse against God. Right. Mm -hmm. so, so that's why we gotta return back to our God. Right. A lot of us are lost in uh, the political might. A lot of us are lost in philosophies right. of men. Right. A lot of us are lost in the uh, money that devalues every day. Right. <laughs> We're lost in all these things, and these the people, according to the scriptures, Esau is the Caucasian man. He imbues his wicked gods on all these systems, That's right. and we serve it diligently. Right. We gotta stop. We gotta stop it. 
Because a lot of our brothers and sisters are losing their souls over money, over materialistic things that don't bring them to this. You see that? And then a lack of knowing who you are, that's a start. That's why he said with the boldness, this book is your history. That's right. These laws are your heritage. Right. Because in a heritage, it has what? What you eat, how you dress, right. how you act civil to the right. people, how you do business, the holidays that you celebrate. Right. God has all that here. Exactly. If, if a man were to do business according to God's law, he would be a rich man That's and right. he would not break God's law. Right. And God will back him in that. Right. But do we? No. We have this dog eat dog mentality in business. And then we try to bring that to our people. Right. That's not civil according to God. God loves just weights. That's a law right. in Proverbs. He loves just weight. We don't deal right with each other when it comes to business. We don't deal right with each other when it comes to just talking to each other. And we don't deal right with each other when it comes to uh, dietary law. Bring it out. We eat everything under the sun. Right. God said don't, don't eat shrimp, crab, lobster. Oh, <laughs> New Testament say this. What? Are, are we serious right now? Bring it out. The New Testament never said that. Right. You, you still follow the laws of God. Right. That's the misconception. Do you understand that? Does that make sense? What was your uh, question? So I don't think that I disagree with you there, but what I am ultimately saying, I guess, is... So, I guess, from what you're saying, the reason why is because we chose to go against the laws, and if you don't do the contract, you basically fired us. No, that's no, 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 firing looks like. That, that's not no, firing. I'm going... This is metaphor. Everything no, I'm no, saying no, is metaphor. Me metaphorically mm -hmm. would be... It's not fired. You're actually abiding to the ramifications of breaking the right. contract. You didn't well, fire it. Well, I guess I'm saying metaphorical because yeah. what I'm saying is metaphorical because if you go get a job, you have a contract. You do the job, you get paid the wage. I'm talking about a contract get... with God. It's yeah, well, I'm, I'm being he gave, he gave us two contracts. I'm one, trying my damnedest to put us on the same page. Don't, don't. Uh, I, already, I already explained it. Well, one contract was, keep my commandments to live. I will protect you all the days you live. If you don't, I'm going to have these other nations reign over you. I'm going to have terror beyond your wildest imaginations right. hit you hard because you broke my first contract. So how do we get back to the first contract? That goes through repentance. That's right. That's the that's the way back to that first contract. Right. right. So we didn't break. We broke the first, but then we fell into the second. We don't, I don't like the second. I don't like my brothers and sisters getting shot down. Right. Right. I don't. Right. I don't like the beef that be going on online right. over stupid stuff. I hate it. And a lot of it be going down on their hoover. They, they be having those uh, internet thugs. Right. Yeah. That we got to get past that. And I'm not disagreeing with you that in that regard. Got to return back to God's law. I'm not saying that you wouldn't have to return to some sense of God. What I'm trying to ask ultimately mm -hmm. is if that's the case, and what you're saying is, is all factual. Everything is factual, top to bottom. The only way back ultimately is to repent and to go back into that that original it's contract. Like, and if we go back into that original contract, first king, God will ultimately give you what you what He promised in the beginning, which correct? is the earth. Yes, sir. Which is the earth. Okay. Yes, sir. So that would assume that if you're walking within that, you would be free of everything that could potentially go against you in that. You know. Yes. So I. So. What's your name? Kedon. Kedon. Nice to meet you. Kedon. I, pre well, I yeah, appreciate yeah. it, but I, I respectfully, some of the things you say. They do hold weight and they are factual. Because God Some said. of the things I do wholeheartedly believe are left up to subjectiveness um, and your own level of interpretation. No, wait, wait, wait. So interpretation, for that, I think that I'm going to disagree. Interpretation doesn't mean mm -hmm. my opinion. Uh, again. It means how I the interpret. Way, the way that I broke it down was the interpretation. Mm -hmm. That's what the word means. Yeah. The way you break information down to make it relatable. Like this, for instance. Give me First Kings 8. I'm about to interpret what is it saying i'm about to break it down make it simple read first kings chapter 8 and verse 46 this is how we repent if they sin against thee so if you break my laws for there is no man that sin and not there's no man of israel that don't sin and thou be angry with them uh -huh. and deliver them to the enemy were we delivered to the enemy alicia oh what? <laughs> Aaliyah. Aaliyah, i'm sorry <laughs> like like the singer dang so Aaliyah, were we delivered to the enemy we're here. We're still here. <laughs> Read. So that they carried them away captives unto the land of the enemy, far or near. We was far from Jerusalem. That's us. And we have brothers and sisters near to Jerusalem to this day. They're in India, close to India. We have different sects. We have sects in China right. and Japan. Read. Yet 
if they shall bethink themselves in the land whether they were carried captives. So if we remember who we are in the land of our captivity, which is America, read. And repent. And turn back to God. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned. So supplication is prayer. When you make prayer unto the Lord, you have to say, yes, I've sinned. Then you know what God wants out of you? You got to tell what is your sin. Right. You can't say, oh, Lord, Father, I sin. Uh, what you do? You got to, oh, I, I, I did this. I broke that. I broke this law. I broke that law. I broke this law. Read. And how done perversely. So we have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies. So God said return to him with all your soul. That's your being. And your heart is your mind. So that means our mind has to be on his words. Our soul or our being has to be acting out his words. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.